The Department of Transportation is officially kicking off Minnesota's second season today. It announced there will be more than 200 road and bridge construction projects in 2017, totaling $1 billion. Mary McGuire joins us live now. And Mary, drivers in the metro have already had to deal with two big road construction projects so far this year. They have, and perhaps you can think of that big closure on 169 and the other closures that are happening on 94 as sort of an appetizer of what's to come for the rest of the year in terms of road construction. Now, let's take a look at the, some of the projects that MnDOT did announce today. These are major projects that might impact you in 2017. They include the Interstate 94 Minneapolis to Brooklyn Center project, the I-94 St. Paul to Maplewood project, I-35W and Lake Street in Minneapolis, Highway 169, and I-94 in Arden Hills, Shoreview, Vadness Heights, and Little Canada. Now, like we mentioned, these announcements are all on top of projects that are underway in the metro area and will last throughout the year. Lane closures on 94 between Brooklyn Center and Minneapolis began in March. That project also includes repairing 50 bridges on and over the interstate and repairing tile on the Lowry and Portland Avenue tunnels. The Highway 169 project ramped up in late January as both directions of the highway between Bren Road and 7th Street closed. MnDOT officials tell us they strategically plan these projects for the next year so they wouldn't impact the Super Bowl. Um, we've done planning around the Super Bowl. Um, one of the things is the Lake Street project will also have a closure of the flyover from northbound 35W to 494, and we're delaying that to occur after the Super Bowl. Uh, we've made other adjustments. We are wrapping up a lot of work this year. Now, the Transportation Commissioner also took the opportunity to call on legislators to come up with a long-term funding solution for the transportation system. He claims the latest 20-year plan forecasts an $18 million budget shortfall fall in anticipated revenue and what MnDOT needs to operate competitively. Now, in addition to road construction, MnDOT also announced a variety of other projects that deal with the airport, also with ports here in our state, and also with railroads, but those are sort of on top of the road construction projects that are in the works. So it might be time to invest in a good car radio uh, this year because you might be spending a lot of time in traffic with these detours and closures. No kidding. Make sure that radio works. Thank you, Mary.